What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And I, you, already know what time it is. <sighs> Tips and talk. Alright people, what's going on today? I'm going to do a little different tipsy talk. Um, I'm going to... Somebody asked me a question. I can't remember who it was. But they asked me, uh, Seth, how can you, um, I guess, deter, if you have a side discharge mower, how can you deter uh, grass kicking out in the flower beds and, and stuff like that and onto fences and stuff? Which is a very good question. Um, I had to learn this over years, and so I'm gonna go over that. Um, I'm also I pulled up some old footage, old old footage, because people I can, I tell people all the time I started from the bottom, and now I'm here. <laughs> well, actually, I'm here, and I want to go there, but I started off push mowing, and I tell people that they don't believe me. They're like, oh, whatever, chef. Blah, blah. You're about to see some footage of your boy Seth Pushmore. Long time subscribers were seeing it. And your boy was about 50 pounds lighter too, so I was a little slim. <laughs> Probably because I was doing all that pushmore. Anywho, alright, let's get this video started. Yes, sir. Alright, first thing you want to notice is what I'm doing. I'm framing. Um, I'm framing the yard. Um, the reason why this is important. This will help give you an extra turn radius. Um, I'll probably go more detail about that later. But um, right now in this video, I want to talk to you about mulching mower. If you saw when I turned around, this mower is not a side discharge. It's a mulching mower. And as you see, I went past that tree, which has uh, a little mulch area around it. A mulching mower, for those who don't know, is a self-contained mower. It's uh, it, it, it blends it up in the bottom. It's kind of like like a, a side discharge mower. It cuts it up really fast and shoots it outside, and makes way for the mower to cut up more grass. A mulching mower, and this is something I, I want to get into because a lot of people uh, don't really understand this, and and they they talked about the uh, Time Master being underpowered. Um, it was because they don't understand mulching mowers. A mulching mower is like you put a whole bunch of stuff in a blender and you, you, uh, the blender is not going to blend all of that stuff instantly. It gradually blends it, blends it, blends it, blends it. Same thing with a mulching mower. A mulching mower, you go over, if there's a lot of grass under the deck, it's going to take some time to process it. And so that's what I think a lot of people did with the Time Master. They would just run over a whole bunch of grass and keep on going and no more can mulch up so much grass right so but the, the whole point I'm talking about is mulching is if you're having problems with that look into getting a mulching mower it probably solve a whole bunch of your problems I always have a mulching mower in my setup you're gonna see all of my mulching mowers in this video but uh look into getting a mulching mower um, <sighs> Is great for flower beds. All right, so this is the video I'm gonna talk about side discharge, right? I'm still using my mulching mower, but hypothetically, if it had a side discharge, it'll be on the right side, right? And so, as you see, I'm going up. Is a flower bed. You can't really see it. It's right there where I'm turning, right there. I turn away. You know, so if you have a flower bed or something, you don't want to shoot grass in it. You have to plan. You have to strategize when you're going to cut the yard, which way you're going to turn. This can work for if you have a push mower, if you have a walk behind, if you have a zero turn of standard with side discharge. You just, and you know, a lot of people just get on the mower and start cutting. No, you got to make a plan. So if I'm looking at a yard and, and I'm facing the house and I see there's a flower bed up by the house, I'm going to start cutting from the left side. Why? Because when I go and I um, 
and I turn to the right, I come back up. Now, I know first thing people are going to say, Seth, well, if you do it that way, you're going to be turning right at the street and you're going to spray all the grass in the street and the motorcycle people, the guys that ride the motorcycles are going to come slip up. I got something to say about that because I see that all the time when people say, ah. Oh. Now, of course, if you're spraying a ridiculous amount of grass <laughs> in the street, that just makes you look sloppy in general. But if you're spraying, spraying a small amount of grass, to, you know, number one, the, the, you just need enough time, what, 10, 15 minutes of that grass being in the street for you to finish cutting that front yard. And if you want to stop before you go to the backyard and blow the grass out the street, that's fine. But don't make things harder for you because of people running their mouth on the internet. You know what I mean? And on top of that, if you're riding a motorcycle, you should be watching where you're going anyway. You know? You're going to say, oh no, I can't see that grass. Ah! You know? You should be watching where you're going anyway. Go around the grass. But I mean, if you're on the main road, but I mean, if you're in the, they should be watching out for the grass anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you know, and, and if you have two flower beds, right? You have two flower beds, do the same thing. Or if you don't want to spray it in the street, you could do like a 180 turn and turn it back that way. Right here, my time match. So like I told you, y'all gonna see all my mulching mowers. I've always had a mulching mower in my setup. Started off with my 21 inch Troy belt. Right here, you're seeing my um, 30 inch Time Master. And as you see, I framed it. I, I did the frame around it. And like I said, framing it all helps you in two different cases. In this case, you want to try to reduce going on the sidewalk, even though I couldn't, you know, I still have to go on the sidewalk a little bit, but I don't have to go fully on the sidewalk as much. I, most of my more still stays on the grass. And so that's the good thing about this. And um, see how I'm going at a nice slow pace? And I'm, I'm cutting just fine. There's nothing wrong with the Time Master, people. It's nothing wrong. Um, oh, buddy. <laughs> this video right here, this is called the Labor Day Classic. <laughs> Reason I'm showing y'all this video. So this is like the only side discharge video I got for you guys. And I know the first thing y'all gonna say is, Seth, you're side discharging into the fence. Why are you doing that? It's a couple of reasons, people. Number one, this grass is super tall. Like I said, you want to make it easy for you, easy on your equipment. You don't want to, you know, I'm telling y'all to go out here and destroy people's yard. But in this particular situation, as you can see, I haven't trimmed yet, right? And there's a, about a foot and a half foot of grass on the fence. <laughs> so it's protecting uh, the fence from the spray of grass, right? And so what I'm gonna do afterwards, I'll cut in first, and then I'm gonna go with my trimmer, and I'm going to trim. And with trimming it, I'm gonna knock down, see here we go, I'm trimming it. With trimming it, I'm gonna knock down all that grass, um, kick it back into the yard. I have no idea where I'm going left to right. Y'all know me, I like to go right to left. This is an old video. I must not have learned my lesson yet, but um, I like to go right to left when I'm trimming on fences and houses because it, it kicks most of the grass back into the yard. But in this situation, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get my mower and I'm going to go back over it again to give you a better finished product. You saw how tall the grass was. You're going to see the after, uh, you know, of this. There's the after, you know. I know I was kind of all over the place because I was trying to follow the clips and whatnot, but the gist of the matter is get a mulching more. <laughs> uh, you, you have to have a mulching more in your setup. You know, here is my mulching more of choice right now. Um, I don't know how many times this thing has saved me. 
Uh, this is like, you know, the Time Master on steroids. Uh, right here, the yard is not even that tall. He just wanted me to cut down like a half an inch. So, customer's always right. <laughs> so, that's what I was doing. Um, still gave it a little stripey stripe action. But, um, yeah. You know, as y'all saw the video, y'all saw kind of how I evolved. You know, I started off with what I could afford. A uh, toy boat Mustang that I actually put together myself. Put that motor and that deck together. Then I went to the Time Master. That was about $1,000. Then I went to this more, which was like $36.00 you know regular and then like 4500 with tax and the mulching kit so um yeah you could get a mulching mower on anything um nailer he has the toro grandstand and he has a mulching kit on that you know what i mean and he loves it you know you gotta think about it like the blender example i gave you like the more powerful the mower is, the faster it can process grass. But at the same time, you still got to give it time. Like you think about that blender, you're making a smoothie with, with spinach and bananas and all whatever you're putting in it. It's slowly churning. So if you got a mulching mower and you got super tall grass, you can still cut it. Excuse me. You just got to go super slow. Um, I didn't cut with this mower right here. I didn't cut grass. It's probably like eight inches tall, and I, all I had to do was double cut. I got sharp blades on it. I go super slow. Um, it was in a particular situation where I only had two mowers at the time. Before I think it was before I got the the gravely, but after I got this T bar, and we had a. A decent sized yard. BJ was using my Troy Belt Zero Turn, and I was using this bad boy to cut the front yard. The grass was tall, had to get it done. Boom. And in another situation, I know a lot of people, one fear a lot of people have about getting a, a mower with a permanent motion kit like this. If you're in a situation where the grass is too tall. Let's say it's like two feet high. You don't want, you know, you don't want to run your mulching mower through it because it can't side discharge. You don't want to mess your mower up. I understand that. That's why I always, sorry about that. That's why I always have a big dog, a Gravely, my Troy Bill. I run over the yard that's two feet and bring it down to four inches or whatever, four and a half inches. And now it's a whole bunch of random debris in the yard. Then I get out my uh, um, Toro T-Bar and go over that stuff and mulch it up. Because the Toro T-Bar doesn't have to do all the work to knock all the stuff down. That's why I like having the two mowers. That's why I love my setup. I need to go over details because it's, it's particular reasons why I have my setup. I want to be prepared for everything. So... I know this video is super random. I know it wasn't your typical tipsy talk, but uh, I hope to help some people. Um, nothing really going on with me. Not they all people. I am working and chilling. Mm. Anywho, stay tuned. Tomorrow I will have a video. Part two of that uh, Back in These Streets. Well, it's not part two. It's the next Back in These Streets. Next episode, uh, where I'll be doing the backyard. The last week, I did the front yard. And tomorrow, I'll be posting a video for the backyard. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.